Hi, Dave Taylor here. I'm trying to put together this new iPhone case. I kid you not. Parts, screws, little tiny Allen wrench. What is it? It's the Task 1. And this is the, I don't know, the James Bond, the ninja of iPhone cases. Why? Because when I do finally get it assembled, it actually has 22 different tools hidden in the back of the case. Serious tools, like a knife. And there's all sorts of things that actually come out of this case. It's, it's, it's pretty darn interesting. Um, never be lost without whatever blade that is. Um, and of course, scissors. You always need to have scissors. But here's the thing. This is the, a $99 case. This is pretty spendy on the case side. But you actually have to screw the whole thing together. And so it's quite a tricky task. And the good news is that once the case is on, it's not coming off, which is also the bad news. Um, actually, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to fully assemble it. But the bad news is that I can just imagine going through airport security and they're scanning my phone because, of course, you put all your devices in the little bin through the scanner and they say, whoa, what's that? And I pull it out and they find this. Now, I'm just going to try to guess, what would the experience be like going through airport security with this as your iPhone case? My guess would be very exciting. Probably exciting in a way that's different to what you would like. But, on the other hand, I suppose if you are in the middle of nowhere, or if you are indeed working for MI5 or the CIA, then this might be the perfect iPhone case for you. Now, to be fair, it is kind of an interesting idea. Um, there are some situations where it might be useful to have a tool or two um, tucked into the back of your case and it's certainly nice and secure when you get it all assembled, but at the same time, one of the things that I've noticed is that the tools tend to slide out. It's not that secure. For every one where there's a nice little slider and it stays in the right place, there are other ones where you put it in the right way and then it's sticking out. Or you go to put it out and it actually comes all the way out. Now, that's not very beneficial because if I'm going to have a Swiss Army knife of iPhone cases, and they probably can't call it that for intellectual property reasons, but if I'm going to have a Swiss Army-like case, then I really don't want these blades falling out of my pocket. Or worse, falling out when I happen to be pulling it out of my briefcase or something or like I said on my way to airport security when I suddenly say oh my god I need to take this thing off my phone and I didn't bring my Allen wrench ah so since I am going to the airport tomorrow I think I shall not actually put this on but this is the task one and if you really want the ninja samurai um, secret agent of iPhone cases for a hundred bucks this can be yours and I can only say that next time you are there and you have your iPhone and you really need to trim a piece of fruit or perhaps threaten terrorists to make sure you stay safe, they've got you covered. This is Dave Taylor and I'll see you in my next video.